Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday, and as always, be sure to like and provide comments. For today's episode, we're going to look at five dark web search engines, being Excavator, the Tor search engine, Phobus Darknet search, the Haystack search engine, and then the Multivac search engine. So unlike the surface web, which has had search engines for quite a long time, obviously Google, Yahoo, and Bing being the three most prominent ones, with DuckDuckGo definitely making its presence known over the last few years, dark web search engines have been non-existent or actually pretty terrible up until recently. So for today's episode, we're gonna run a very simple test. We're gonna search on three different terms, one being the term LeBron James, they kind of test the results of the dark web search engines against kind of general pop culture content to see if anything's returned. The term cryptocurrency, to, to test a term that kind of bridges both the surface web and dark web. And the term pharma, to test the results for a term that is heavily used in, in the dark web, specifically around dark web markets. Because what you'll find out is not all dark web search engines are equal. Some are very heavily focused on purely dark web type content related to drugs and guns. Other ones have some more generic content and then some seem to be pretty good and have a nice real mix of both general information along with your quote unquote typical salacious dark web information. And this is more, this is becoming a more prominent thing because a lot of people are going to the dark web in order to really achieve privacy and anonymity away from particular surface engine websites like Google and Yahoo that basically track everything you do. We're also going to look at things like the overall user experience and search engine op options and the return speed of the results. So keep in mind, DuckDuckGo, we're not going to review that one today. But that is a great search engine option, um, whether you're on the surface web or the dark web. So it is something I really use heavily on the surface web so that I'm not reliant on Google. Now, these are not in rank order, and at the, I'll save my favorite to the very end of the video to kind of give you my final recommendation. Okay, so uh, let's get started. The first search engine is Excavator. So let's do our LeBron James search. And as you can see, Excavator is a pretty simple interface. No JavaScript, safe search. Basically, they say uh, they guarantee they don't want to track you. So you can see for LeBron James, not much is returned. Basically, just some paid advertisements, and so Excavator returns no results. Let's try cryptocurrency. So with crypto, uh, we definitely get some results here. Here, um, We get things related to dark web links, things related to Bitcoin mixers, uh, Bitcoin is king, trust wiki, BitTrader, and so let's just do, let's just click on one of these. Let's click on the Bitcoin mixer really quick. So there we go. So definitely a, a and I did this to kind of test the link. Uh, some of these links, some of the services themselves obviously are hidden services. So their uptime can be spotty, but also I wanted to click the link because sometimes the links returned in search engines, especially dark web search engines, um, cannot be accurate. So this looks to be like an accurate link. And then lastly, pharma. And here we definitely see uh, onion pharma, so definitely onion services related to pharma. Pills delivery, U.S. pharmacy, so a lot of links there. Um, so not not a ton of links returned, but um, a decent amount. So let's just check Blue Magic really quick, and we definitely get um, that that website rendered. So overall, Excavator, uh, LeBron James, kind of the, our generic search, not not uh, definitely no good. Um, on the crypto search, pretty good, and pharma search, not too bad, and quick, basically very simple UI, no real options, 
and good and good links. So next, let's move on to the tour search engine. So you can see here, um, has the ability for advertisements and that is about it. So let's search LeBron James, see what we get. So no search results for LeBron, so that makes it easy. Cryptocurrency. So pretty good, pretty quick results. We definitely see some uh, results related to uh, pornography uh, intermix. So even though these are results, not a lot of them look to be very heavily tied to cryptocurrency. So these results are, are again, even though something was returned, not really connected to the cryptocurrency link that we're looking for. And then lastly, pharma. So here we definitely see some um, results that definitely are connected to our search term for sure. So if we, let's say we'll click on this one, give it a second here. Sometimes these can take a second or two. Um, sometimes it's not the link that's the problem. So there you go, bam. Uh, pretty quick, pretty quick rending and it definitely renders the page we expected it to render. Let's go to the Phobos Darknet search. So uh, again, very basic search, nothing, nothing really fancy here. Um, no real options, but let's try uh, LeBron James. And boom, so it looks like we got some, some definitely some good res specific results um, that are related to kind of um, topics related to LeBron James. Uh, so let's see, it looks, it looks like this is a New York Times article, something from the Daily Storm. Um, and a few other things and so it looks like yeah so there's a lot there's 14 pages of results um, potentially here so uh, definitely let's just click on this one to make sure that it's connected to something that makes sense and it looks like it is so there it is so those are stories so BBC shows footage of LeBron uh, after Kobe's death so um, Definitely a, a well-connected um, link that is exactly around the topic that we're looking for. So not, not a ton of relevant links. It looks like, you know, the first few, the rest of these probably aren't even related to LeBron. Um, but still, better than what we, we got the last two times. So let's try cryptocurrency. So again, fast results. Um, definitely things related to uh, Bitcoin mixers. Um, let's see, cryptocurrency mixers, Bithacker. Um, let's let's check out this one cryptocurrency. It's probably looks like more of a generic link. Let's check this one out And here's some topics related to altcoins explained so Cool, so this is up voto crazy uh, and so this is a uh, Basically a forum specifically about crypto different types of cryptocurrency and actually about actually about a lot of different stuff So privacy SEO politics crypto coronavirus. So um, So this is good. So this these are these are good search search results They're not only good volume, but also different variations of the crypto cryptocurrency topic And then pharma So pharma good a quick return a uh, few things here uh, so let's just check out this one really quick. So this is Cyrillic, so this is some Russian sites. But let's check out this Ritalin site, let's see what we get. So yeah, so these are, this is a, a angel farm. So this is a, a dark web market related to drugs. Uh, looks like some stuff on hair loss too, um, and a few other things and blood pressure meds and, and stuff like that. So um, definitely uh, a good link, definitely connected well. I'm just gonna actually check on this second link to see if the re-up the results look like they stay pretty strong uh, related to not only dark web markets, but also news articles. So a, f a former president mentioning stuff in terms of battle with big pharma. So again, so this is this is this is good in terms of showing kind of the breadth of information that the search engine is going to display, not just strictly related to dark web markets. Let's go to Haystack. So um, Haystack search engine has actually so there's actually an about page, and I want to check this one out first. Um, 
keep it a second here. So Haystack actually in their about page, they talk a lot about privacy um, and the fact that they are against censorship. But that being said, they're not going to do any, they're going to have any links or gonna, they're going to try to uh, filter out any links that they view as immoral or illegal. And this is specific examples of human trafficking and child abuse. So that has kind of been the, the one big drawback of a lot of dark web uh, search engines previously is there's not only a lot of uh, pornographic links there, but often links that you think are related to LeBron James and all of a sudden it turns into a pornographic link, especially um, pornographic links related to, to children. So um, it's good that it looks like they're, they're offering some level of censorship so you can feel a little bit safer clicking on links and doing searches here. There's also a Go Premium, um, which they claim to give you access to database, uh, data sets related to Bitcoins, email addresses. Um, it uses, I think, a little more advanced, uh, a more of an advanced uh, search engine, uh, better regular expressions, um, more historical onion searches. Um, and so it looks like you can try to submit a request. I actually did try to submit a request last week asking if I could get access to the premium for this video. Um, I waited five days. I haven't heard back a response, but um, maybe they weren't willing to give me, let me try the premium service out at no charge. So it's an option if you want to look, look into it. I don't know exactly how much this will cost. Um, if anyone does find out, definitely put it in the comments below. So let's go back to the search engine page really quick, the main landing page. Okay, let's type in LeBron James here. And so interesting, so uh, definitely a lot of good results related to uh, his some, some apologies and some tweets. Uh, former tied to the Cavaliers uh, former Facebook page actually the, the dark web version of Facebook there is such a thing um, dark uh, Facebook does have a dark web version of it I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you think I now I can use Facebook and it's, it's on the dark web and it's going to be more secure um, I don't necessarily trust Facebook um, in terms of uh, maintaining people's privacy so but be cautious that use at your own risk so yeah so a lot of different links uh, related to lebron and basketball um so let's just actually just click on this first one and see what we get so this has taken a little bit longer than i'd hope but again this may not be the issue of the search engine this could potentially be an issue with this uh the the link we're trying to contact so let me try something else really quick let's try another link Boom, so there it is. So it took a little while, but this probably is due to the New York Times uh, Onion page is a, is a little bit slow. So again, so some look, obviously it's a, a little bit older content. LeBron is no longer on the Cavs, but still that being said, um, there are there is uh, content related to LeBron that renders properly. Let's try cryptocurrencies really quick. So. Uh, Den, so it looks like uh, things around trading crypto. Uh, let's see. A few other things here. I'm not sure what the ARC3 RSEC is, but um, let's click on it and see what we get. Okay, this is taking a little bit longer. Let me, let me try to kill that link and see if I can click on something else here. Because all I'm trying to do is just verify that the link is properly connected. So yeah, so there it is. So it looks like it's about to render and good. It's, it's related to the trading of cryptocurrency. Why choose crypto, trading volume, unique concepts. So again, so uh, definitely a, a good link here. And then finally, let's try pharma. And we definitely get things related to onion pharma, alpha pharma healthcare, Let's see, Dark Dirt Pharma. So a lot of good links here and a lot of volume and it looks like it's all fair, fairly relevant. Um, so let's check out, um, check this link out really quick. Things are taking slow. It could potentially be uh, my system because I actually, obviously I'm doing, uh, recording the screenshot here. So it could be slowing down just because of that. But these look like these look like legitimate links, honestly. So, 
and you know what we'll let that go and then let's move on to multivac uh so the multivac search engine so <clears throat> you can actually contact multivac if you have any questions or comments it gives their proton email address obviously some advertisements on the front page but other than that no real major options so let's type in lebron here So taking a little while here. Let's try this one. You know what? Let's just jump jump to crypto really quick and see what we get. So it definitely returned some results. Uh, uh, the hidden links, uh, some basic stuff. Not not a ton. It doesn't look like. Um, but it looks like definitely some some relevant links related to uh, related to cryptocurrencies for sure. We'll click on that and let that render really quick as we go back. Oh, looks like up oh, looks like that link did not render correctly. So let's try this one more time. And while we're waiting for that, let's try pharma. So definitely pharma links rendered fine. Let's try this one. So there is our, so this was our, our cryptocurrency link. Um, so you can see there's an article on crypto here. So it was connected, looks like it, it did render properly and gave us the results we did expect. Let's try LeBron James here one more time. Still waiting for results. So this is de definitely slower than expected. Um, and our pharma link. Uh, so there it is. So it looks like LeBron James finally rendered. And again, this may be due to, to my laptop, so I wouldn't use it, judge, judge it too hard. But uh, so yeah, so here's some links, the New York Times link. Here's a link to hidden answers, it looks like, which is a form that I, I have used before. Um, and I tested this out earlier and th that link actually rendered pretty fast than re when I clicked on it. So uh, this is being a little bit slower than normal, um, but it could also be the Tor network. So yeah, so you can see it's connected. Not a ton of LeBron stuff, LeBron stuff, but um, uh, definitely a, a, a decent amount. And that other link related to Pharma did not render. So let's just try that one more time just to complete it, just to make sure. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of pharma links here. So let's try, let's get away from this, this uh, steroid warehouse one and just try this one really quick. Cool, so that one is, is rendering fine and it's re related to uh, obviously a dark web market. Uh, it looks like out of India, um, selling a, a, a wide variety of different pharmaceuticals. So, so hopefully uh, you found this um, this review of Excavator, Tor Search Engine, Haystack, uh, and Multivac, and Phobos uh, useful. Uh, my overall recommendation, just because if you are looking for more depth and breadth um, to your search engines and you're using the dark web for more than just marketplaces, um, I think Haystack uh, right now is definitely probably my favorite and uh, I like it the most along with uh, Phobos. So those two are definitely ones I would check out. If you're doing a more narrowed search, more for, for the dark web markets, then Excavator, the Tor search engine are definitely an option. And I think Multivac is basically a toss up. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.